What is going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy, Phantom Stilts, and welcome back to another brand new video. Today is a little bit of a tutorial on how to take that green sheet back there and turn it into your own budget green screen for OBS. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. It's really simple, really easy. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video, guys. Here we go. I make it go. So to give you guys an idea on how easy it was for me to actually create my own green screen from that fabric back there, the materials cost me right around $45 to $50. Uh, it was really easy. The PVC pipe that I used actually to make the apparatus and the things that I used to make the green screen were literally about four or five pieces of PVC pipe, some T-joints that I got at Home Depot, as well as like six feet of green screen material or a green sheet that's all that is is a, is a green fabric and the green fabric was about 50 cents for about a foot and i got about six feet of fabric so that's about three dollars of fabric so right around 50 bucks is what i spent to actually make that green screen so it's really cheap really easy and couldn't have been more simple and what i'm actually going to do for you guys in this video is actually show you how i set up the green screen manually and then how i incorporate it into obs and Streamlabs, which is the open broadcasting software that i use and make it look like the background of my game my trailer whatever i'm recording so it looks perfect so it's just the silhouette of me and nothing else so you can't see the background that's in my room you can only see the game the trailer whatever i'm recording it's really really cool so let's go right into how i set up my green screen Now that we have the green screen set up, I'm actually going to OBS and show you guys how you actually mask it to the background so that you guys can see nothing but what you're recording, whether it be a gameplay review, a gameplay walkthrough, a live stream, anything you're recording, it will match that background. So let's go straight into Streamlabs OBS, guys. Here we go. So here we go, guys. We are in Streamlabs OBS. This is the open broadcasting software that I use. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have a zoom feature on your webcam, like I do with my Logitech C920, what you're going to want to do is zero in that webcam. So it's just your face and the green screen behind you. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So on our display capture, we're going to go to webcam. You're going to left click on webcam and then you're going to right click on webcam and go to properties. And that's going to pull up this dialog box. You're going to go to configure window. And what I like to do is sort of keep my webcam and my microphone sort of out of frame when I do uh, game capture and walkthroughs and things like that. You're going to go to configure video. That's going to pull up another dialog box here in just a second. So this is my Logitech HD webcam. This is the webcam uh, interface for my C920. So like I said, if it has a zoom feature, this is what I like to do. So if you watch in the bottom right hand corner where my webcam is right here, you'll see the camera actually zoom in on my face in the silhouette of my body. So we'll hit it once and we'll hit it twice. So we have it zeroed in right on our silhouette. So obviously the green screen is not what I like to do with this one is actually pull the sheet. So that way the sheet is actually covering the entirety of everything I want covered. So the silhouette of my body will be the only thing that you guys see and you'll see the background of the game in the background. So once it's zeroed in and you have it zoomed in where you want it, go ahead and hit save on your uh, interface here for the webcam. Then the next thing you're going to do, this is how we create the background of the game. So you're going to go ahead and left click on the webcam. Once again, you're going to go to filters. Once you right click on the webcam, after you left click, you have to select it or it will not work. You're going to go to filters. And you're going to go to the plus sign, which is adding a filter to the webcam itself. So this plugin actually acts as a transparency. So it's not really 
you're not really doing anything to the webcam feed per se. You're just putting sort of a transparency over it to make it look how you want. So you're going to hit this drop down menu. You're going to go all the way down to where it says chroma key. You have chroma key right here. So you're going to go ahead and select that. You can name it whatever you want. Usually I name it green screen just so I know what this chroma key is for. So we'll name it green screen here. Go ahead and click done. And as you guys are going to see, it's going to actually add a black silhouette to the green screen. And uh, it is not, it is not green anymore. It is now black. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually turn my TV a little bit here so we can get, there we go. There was a little, there was a little piece of the, uh, the room in the background actually poking through. I don't know if you guys saw that, but you want it to take up the entirety of the background. So remember this is green. This is now all black. This is adding the chroma key. So what you're going to do from here is you sort of got to zero in and make it look flush and make it look presentable. Unless you have a really dark room or a really bright room, you won't really have to worry about the contrast, the brightness or the gamma. So the two things that you really need to focus on and make sure are pinpoint are the similarity numbers and the smoothness numbers right here at the top. Also make sure that your key color type is you want to have either a green, a blue, a magenta, or you can make a custom background, but these are the three colors that I would suggest if you're going to use. Green screen works the best, obviously, but blue or magenta work as well. So once you select your uh, key color type, which is green screen, that's why it's black now. So we'll select green. So we're going to make our background a little bit more smooth. So we got it right there. So that makes it a little bit more smooth in the background. And then you're going to draw back the smoothness right about there is probably actually we can go a little bit more to the left. That's a little bit too much. And right about there seems about good. So you see the entirety of the green screen is now black behind me. It was green once before. So we added that transparency in order to do that. So you're going to go ahead and go down to the screen button here and click done. As you guys can see now, once I click out of the webcam, my entire silhouette is flush with the background of OBS. So now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go into a game of Far Cry 5 and actually show you how it blends in with the background. So let's go right into that, guys. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We are now in a game of Far Cry 5. This is how I set up my green screen for all of my walkthroughs, for all of my trailer reactions. Everything I do on YouTube where you guys see gameplay behind me or a trailer, this is how I do it. So as you guys can see, the entirety of the green screen is now flush with the background of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if this helped you guys. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I do a bunch of stuff on the channel from tutorial videos like these to gameplay walkthroughs, trailer reactions, anything you guys could possibly want involving gaming or gaming news or anything like that, you can find on my channel. But without any further ado, this is your boy Phantom Stilts. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys. I make it go.